let's talk about how businesses can kind of strike a balance between ensuring high availability at one end and minimizing cloud costs on the other end. Hi, this is your host, Abhin Bhartia, and welcome to T3M, our topic of this month. And the topic of this month is cost optimization. But today we have with us once again, Dave Birmingham, Senior Technical Evangelist at Sayos Technology. And today we are going to talk about cost optimization for high availability. Dave, it's great to have you on the show. Thank you, Swap. It's, it's good to be back. Let's get some basics, fundamentals out of the way. Uh, when it comes to high availability, when it comes to cloud cost, what kind of relationship, what kind of impact do you see of building an, a, a high availability strategy on cloud cost? Some of the key factors influencing the cloud cost and optimizing the cloud cost and specifically in high availability configurations, it really is similar to other configurations that aren't necessarily high availability. And they all really revolve around, you know, efficient uh, resource management and in making strategic architecture decisions. And then, you know, finally continuous monitoring. So, you know, first you have to select the right instance type and size that match your, your workload requirements and you want to avoid over provisioning. So that's crucial. And then if possible, you know, leverage auto scaling to dynamically adjust resources in response to demand. And that will help reduce the cost and optimize your, your cloud spend. And then, you know, when deploying high availability solutions, you're often uh, deploying them across multiple zones or even multiple regions. So you have to be, you know, carefully plan, um, you're gonna be charged for your data transfer cost. And so you gotta look at your replication strategies and do the best you can to minimize the charges associated with the data transfer cost um, across uh, regions or availability zones. And, you know, along with right sizing your instances, you, for your business critical applications are probably running, you know, 24 seven. And so you might want to look at using reserved instances and that'll give you the predictable workload and you're also going to receive a significant discount for prepaying for those reserved instances. So that will help you know, minimize the cost associated with your, your high availability solutions. And then, you know, like I mentioned, once you have all in place, the continuous monitoring and, and optimizing those resources, so, you know, through tools and practices like right sizing and identifying um, idle resources and then optimizing your storage. So, so one of the things, uh, you know, the storage can really, you know, impact your total cost. So you want to make sure you're optimizing your storage strategies and implementing, um, you know, effective governance and cost management policies also plays a significant role in achieving, you know, your high, your high availability and your cost optimization um, goals without, you know, without compromising again, the, the HA. Excellent. Thanks for explaining that. Now I want to look at it from a different perspective. If we look at high availability, does it or can it also help in building a cost optimization strategy or high availability can be part of cost optimization? If yes, how? You know, when looking at the cloud cost, implementing high availability is always going to be, you know, uh, incur some expense, whether you're deploying a redundant servers or you're, you know, leveraging cloud, you know, HA solutions or, you know, backup and recovery solutions, whatever it might be, there's going to be additional cloud costs. But the, the flip side of that is if you don't have high availability and then you experience downtime, what's the cost associated with that downtime? And uh, you know better than anyone else what an hour of downtime to your business means. And I was just talking to someone um, recently who experienced about a 40 minute outage and they estimated that that impacted 500 of their customers. And then the, you know, the cost associated with the, you know, all, across all those customers, uh, yes, made about $20 million cost. So that, you know, Weighing that with the, co with the cost of implementing, you know, 
uh, high availability clustering um, or any HA solution is you have to take that in consideration when you're looking at the cost. If you're just looking, it's like, well, I, you know, this extra server is going to cost me, you know, twice as much per month. What does that mean in the grand scheme of things when you talk about the overall um, costs associated with running your business? Let's talk about how businesses can kind of strike a balance between ensuring high availability at one end and minimizing cloud costs on the other end. You know, bouncing, um, striking that balance between high availability and minimizing cloud costs, really, there's a couple approaches. So what, the first is, you know, the architectural design and the operational uh, strategy. So from architectural standpoint, creating systems that are both modular and scalable is key. So this, um, this flexibility allows businesses to um, efficiently adapt to changes and to scale resources in response to demand. This ensures HA without unnecessary expenditure. So incorporating a multi-tiered storage, uh, storage strategy that aligns with you know, your da various data access needs uh, with the most cost-effective storage solutions, that will also um, help optimize the cost while maintaining high availability. And from you know, the operational side, embracing you know, a DevOps culture that emphasizes continuous integration and continuous deployment practices, that can significantly enhance automation across the deployment lifecycle. That will also minimize the risk of downtime. So this, you know, this approach ensures that updates and new features are developed, tested, and deployed more swiftly and reliably. And um, the, the, another strategic cost savings measure is you know, the possibly undersizing uh, standby instances. So in most, you know, high availability configurations, you have a standby instance that typically is not going to be doing anything other than waiting to, um, you know, to be uh, called into service should uh, fa some failure happen. So by, um, you know, undersizing that until the actual uh, bringing that online can help uh, save on the um, cost associated with high availability. Um, so, you know, this, that approach requires a thorough understanding of the performance requirements and the ability to, you know, quickly uh, upsize that standby instance if it is ever needed to, um, to be called into service after a failover. You can look at um, cloud native services to further reduce the burden of maintenance and operational costs. So these services are typically designed to be highly available and scalable. That will you know, allow you and your team to focus on your core business functions and let the cloud provider worry about you know, providing the availability um, when, when possible. And that, that you know, if possible, great, but if not, um, you still need to manage those uh, resources. So it's, it's again, it's crucial to engage in ongoing cost optimization efforts. So that means, you know, you're constantly reviewing and adjusting your cloud resources. That ensures that you're only paying for the resources that are truly needed. You want to make sure you uh, avoid over provisioning, but still you need to maintain the required levels of high availability. So, you know, again, by adopting these key architectural and operational strategies, you can, you know, successfully uh, navigate these challenges to, of ensuring, you know, high availability without incurring unnecessarily, uh, unnecessary additional, you know, cloud cost. What are some of the common pitfalls enterprises encounter when they try to optimize costs without compromising uh, high availability and how does SIOS technologies kind of help them address these challenges? What I see, you know, some of the common pitfalls that, um, that our customers or enterprises encounter include really underestimating the complexity of cloud cost management. And, you know, many of the cloud providers will have, you know, cost calculators that you can you can use to try to estimate your cost but until you get that first bill or as you know creep uh, enters into your environment 
you you that that cost tends to sometimes get out of hand or be un, more unexpected than you know unexpectedly higher than you anticipated. So um, again, underestimating that complexity is a, is a common challenge. But also neglecting the importance of application performance monitoring in HA scenarios. So again, very often people over provision resources just in case. And that's going to incur an additional cost. We talked about, you know, do you need a 24 core server to be your standby server? Probably not. It's not doing anything unless you fail over to it. Uh, it comes down to, you know, your recovery time objective, you know, because there is additional time associated with resizing servers after a failover. But, you know, there's a balance. So you need to weigh, um, you know, the availability versus the cost associated with that availability. But one of the biggest pitfalls that I see is, and I see this all the time, is failing to um, adequately train your team on, you know, not only, you know, cloud cost optimization best practices, but also in um, implementing and managing, you know, high availability solutions. And that will often lead to inefficient resource uh, utilization and also unplanned downtime. So at SIOS, you know, we can help address these challenges. We, we offer solutions that simplify and automate, uh, you know, high availability in, in, in various different uh, cloud environments. So you know, we provide, um, you know, high availability and disaster recovery software that is going to give you the intelligent application insights to ensure you know, rapid detection and rapid recovery of those business critical applications. And because our focus is on, um, you know, application aware, high availability and disaster recovery solutions, we help, uh, we help you avoid the steep learning curve of trying to use open source high availability solutions. And we also um, minimize the cost often associated with other high availability solutions or that might require enterprise type licenses or additional add-ons. And also uh, some of the cloud-based um, st shared storage options that you see are going to be very cost prohibitive. With SIOS, we leverage um, just the standard cloud-based storage and uh, our efficient replication engine will ensure that, that um, those, those local disks are highly available. Now, when it comes to cloud costs, one of the kind of challenging area is that it fluctuates. There's a lot of, you know, unpredictability associated with these kind of costs. Uh, can you talk about how does SIOs kind of drive efficiency without sacrificing critical high bill bill requirements, look, considering that, you know, the cloud costs, they fluctuate over time? Again, with SIOs, we focus on, um, you know, practical and effective strategies that will help reduce costs associated with um, not only deploying high availability, but like we mentioned earlier, minimizing unexpected downtime and uh, also and minimizing downtime associated with planned maintenance. So uh, again, you know, we can help you save money um, by, you know, eliminating the need for enterprise licenses costs, optimizing your storage utilization, and you know all that's going to you know significantly lower the operational expenses, but still maintaining the robustness of your you know of your uh, solutions and, and availability of your solutions. Um, but also you know our solutions are designed to be multi-cloud, so that gives you the flexibility to deploy resources across different cloud providers, and that allows you to you know really leverage cost efficiencies unique to each cloud service. And so that will allow you to ensure that you can maintain high availability without being tied to um, the cost structure of a single provider. And so that's, you know, that's a tough lesson. If you are leveraging, um, you know, cloud native solutions, that's really tying you to that particular cloud and moving that solution to another cloud is often going to be a significant challenge so you're really at the mercy of that cloud provider they all of a sudden are going to you know increase your cost associated with that service by 25 percent that's 
that's a hit that you're going to have to take. But you know, by leveraging, you know, SIOS solutions and infrastructure as a service, you can you know really decide what cloud service you know provider is going to be optimal for you. So again, to you know some of the practical strategies for reducing uh, licensing and storage costs alongside you know our commitment of cloud flexibility. Sios helps you, you know, optimize solutions that ensure both reliability and performance, but in a cost-conscious manner. And so, you know, by looking at Sios, we'd be glad to, you know, partner with you to help you navigate the complexities of, you know, cloud management and also helping you maintain high availability without all the additional um, cost um, associated with that. Dave, thank you so much for joining me today and talk about cloud cost optimization and uh, the relationship with high availability. Thanks for great insight and as usual, I look forward to talking to you again soon. Thank you. Yeah, likewise. We'll talk soon. Thank you.